Are you ready to buy a home, but you got some credit challenges and you really just want to know what should I do? If that's you, stay tuned for this video. All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina. I am a 20 year finance professional and 15 of those years was spent as a real estate agent and a nationally licensed mortgage loan officer. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and some strategies you can take to get that home loan approval, even if you have some credit challenges. Now, before we jump into the steps, there's something you really need to understand about mortgage credit. And that is that credit scores relating to mortgages are an indication, but not your final determination of whether you can get that approval or not. And you may be wondering, what does that exactly mean? Well, it means that you can have perfect credit and still get denied for a home loan. All right. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'll explain a little bit about why that is. So let's just jump right into what you need to take before you even talk to a loan officer and apply. All right, so step one is you need to get a copy of your credit report. If you believe your credit is challenged, it is bad, the best thing you can do for yourself is know what's on your credit. And it's very easy to obtain a copy of your credit, credit reports for free. And you can go to annualcreditreport.com. That is annualcreditreport.com to get that free report from each credit bureau that is Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Go there, get your free reports. You can even pull them weekly for free by this government authorized site. Okay. Now, prior to the pandemic, you used to only be able to pull it once a year, but now they are offering it once a week. So that's amazing. So take full advantage of that. Once you get those credit reports, we're going to go to step two. You're going to review your credit file and you're going to write down any negative or inaccurate information on your credit report. Again, write down any negative or inaccurate information that you see on your credit report. That's key. Now, step three is that if you have negative or what they call derogatory information, Report it on your credit bureau report in error, then what you want to do is take the following steps. And that is one, contact the creditor directly to have the incorrect information updated. If you run into a, a snag or problems getting the creditor to update the negative incorrect information, then you want to pursue a dispute directly through the credit bureau via mail. Now, if both of those situations don't work out as you plan and you're not able to get it corrected, then write a letter of explanation and put it aside to provide the lender if necessary. Okay. Now, the step four is to get an accurate credit score. I recommend that you get a FICO score, that is F-I-C-O. So you're going to go to F-I-C-O.com, get your most accurate credit score because this will most likely represent the credit score the lender will see, okay? Now here's why you need to get a FICO score, right? A lot of the apps, free apps and sites that give free credit scores are usually based on a different type of scoring model. So getting a FICO score will make sure that you have an accurate number of what your credit score is. And this will help you to f determine which loan programs you qualify for once you are applying for your home loan, right? When you start applying for the loan, you knowing what your credit score is, is going to help you to identify programs that actually meet the criteria that's suitable for you. Now, on the other side of that, knowing your credit score may give you an indication of how much more work you need to do in order to meet the standard of whatever loan you choose that's right for you. Now, let's get to step five. Step five is you need to have documentation completely in order, right? Documentation is absolutely key. 
and your documentation is in relation to showing and proving that you can afford the home loan that you are applying for, right? This takes me back to what I said at the beginning of the video. Your credit score is an indicator, but not the final determination of your approval. You can have perfect credit, but if you cannot prove that you can afford the loan, you will get denied. So even if you have credit challenges, being able to show and prove that you can afford the loan that you are looking for is going to go a long way in helping you get that approval. So make sure you have that completely in order. And that's it. Those are the five steps to getting that loan approval, even if you have challenged credit or bad credit, right? So I hope that you enjoyed this information. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the above if you like this content and you want to see more of it. And also, don't forget, check the description for additional resources that I've that I have for you to make sure you have success in your home loan financing process. And with all that said, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.